Hello, I'm Chris from the RV Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you a quick unboxing of a new cellular booster that has just arrived and is brand new to the market. So this is the HiBoost C27G-55, also, <laughs> also online known as the um, HiBoost Travel 4G Booster. Um, and uh, we're interested in checking this out because it's got some pretty aggressive pricing, some pretty interesting specs on paper and we're eager to see exactly what this is all about one of the first things i noticed looking at the box is on the outside it says it supports um, lte bands 17 13 5 and 25 slash 2 and 4 which when i was looking at their spec sheets online this actually leaves out t-mobile's band 12 but their spec sheet online seems to include the range, uh, the frequency range that is LTE band 12 and does not include band 25, which, it, which is Sprint's band. So there's some inconsistency in uh, um, the bands and the, the tech details, both on the sticker and the spec sheet. So we'll be diving into that as we take a closer look. But let's take a closer look into what's inside this box right now. This is our very first peek. It's always fun to share our first impressions of uh, new products before we've had a chance to fondle them longer. Okay, looks like we have here, first up, an outdoor antenna, magnetic mount, similar in style to a lot of the older uh, dual band antennas, the ones that didn't work so great with uh, um, LTE frequencies, but we don't know the specific specs on this antenna. Let's pull it out of the plastic. There we go. Yes. SMA connectors, typical of a lot of the cell boosters. The, I think this is the same end connectors that uh, WeBoost uses. And uh, yeah, there's the outside antenna. Okay. The plastic not blow away. Next up, inside antenna. Little panel antenna. It's got a sticky back so that you could stick it uh, uh, some place and put it in place or um, you can move it as needed and again under the cap the same type of uh, SMA connector okay. here is a 12 volt power supply for it okay. Our charger uh, this looks like a wall mounting bracket a um, little clip, you could screw this into a wall and probably hang the booster. Indeed, there's four wall mounting screws. Nice to include that. User's manual. And, ah, here's the booster. Oh, and a little wind. Um, so yeah, here on the back is the where this clip would go to hang it on a wall. It's a decently sized metal box. Then outdoor antenna hookup here power input for DC 12 volt I have to say that this is actually a nice improvement over some of the other boosters we've seen that have take 6 volt input and therefore have to have a little power box that gets in the way on the 12 volt on the car charger DC power supply um, nice to just have a single wire simple wire on this side you've got the indoor uh, antenna hookup and then status lights so it looks like a status light for AWS bands which is the 1700 slash um, 2100 LTE band 4 PCS which is LTE band 2 uh, CDMA I'm assuming they're referring to um, basically LTE band 5 space and uh, the LTE here would be the main bands used by Verizon and um, AT&T, the 700 megahertz LTE bands, 13, 17, and if T-Mobile is supported, 12 would be in that range. So we got four status lights. Um, you got the typical FCC warning on the bottom. And that's that right there, the high boost uh, uh, Travel 4G, otherwise known as the G C27G. 5S. Now this booster is already for sale. It's up on Amazon. It's 
coming in listed at 349 um, which is uh, ch quite a bit cheaper than some of the other boosters on the market. So we're going to eager to see um, how this uh, kind of a s relatively unknown band brand compares to uh, leaders like Weeboo. So we'll be putting this up on the roof any day now. Take care. <laughs> we have our hands full of boosters now. Um, so now that they're all in, we are going to be starting our next round of cellular signal enhancing testing. Uh, we've already done two rounds in the past. This will be our third. And this time our focus will be testing against our tried and true WeBoost 4GX against the Smooth Talker, the High Boost, and the Maximum Signal. And we'll be doing head-to-head -head testing on all four carriers in a variety of locations, trying to find some areas where there's weak signal to boost up. Maybe difficult, we're in Florida, signal tends to be very good here, but we'll go seek those locations out. We are also going to be installing some of the Wi-Fi repeating equipment, so Wi-Fi Ranger, the Connect T, uh, and the Pepwave Soho. We're already in rounds of broader testing. Uh, so we actually have two rounds of testing going on right now. And our members over at rvmobileinternet.com, our MIAs, our mobile internet aficionados, will be getting first access to all of our testing results and our initial summary testing. And we will be updating our review center with our general impressions and those will be available to the public. So you can track this all over at rvmobileinternet.com. And uh, we're gonna be having fun reading numbers to each other for a few hours a day. Mm -hmm. It's exciting. <laughs>